In the chosen first season, the budget was $10 million, followed by $12 million for the second season. The third season cost $18 million, with a noteworthy expenditure on the walking on water scene, which consumed the budget equivalent to three episodes in season four. Season four, highly anticipated for its substantial budget increase, amounted to $40 million. Now, as we look forward to season five with a budget of $48 million, there's a sense of anticipation and curiosity. Considering the show creator Dallas has consistently adhered to the principle of prioritizing relationships over spectacle, the question arises, what can we expect from this significant budget boost? Will there be visually stunning special effects or perhaps an expanded cast? It's a common understanding that budgets tend to escalate for long-running series due to increased costs for the cast and crew. Given that this show is planned for seven seasons, the rising budget aligns with that trajectory. For those interested in supporting the production of this captivating series, the Come and See Foundation serves as the ideal channel for donations. If you wish to contribute, you can do so at their official donation page, www.comeandseefoundation.org slash donate. Dallas Jenkins, the creator and director of The Chosen, recently shared exciting updates about Season 5, stating that it gets even more real. During a live stream from Canada, Jenkins encouraged viewers to catch the Christmas special in theaters. In a recent YouTube live stream, the official account of The Chosen provided a sneak peek into a scene from Season 4. Jenkins mentioned that this footage would only be available for around 24 hours after the live stream ended. Additionally, Jenkins had a conversation with Vanessa Benevente, who plays Mother Mary, and Christian worship leader Phil Wickham during the live stream. Jenkins began the live stream by sharing the reason for his presence in Canada. He's currently working on his dream project of adapting the best Christmas pageant ever for the big screen. Securing the rights to the best Christmas pageant ever was a 15-year journey for Jenkins. Despite the challenges, he persisted, driven by a sense that he shouldn't give up. Excitingly, two cast members from The Chosen have been announced for roles in the best Christmas pageant ever, Vanessa Benevente and Elizabeth Tabish. The live stream also highlighted Jenkins' recommendation for viewers to head to theaters from December 12 to 17 to catch The Chosen Christmas special titled Christmas with the Chosen, O Holy Night. This special isn't merely a mashup of The Shepherd and The Messengers, clarified Jenkins during the live stream. Instead, it's an edited combination of the two, featuring two new monologues and a fresh musical performance. Jenkins expressed his anticipation that viewers would have an emotional experience, suggesting that it could potentially become a new Christmas classic. Describing Andrea Bocelli as the best voice in the world, and noting his appreciation for The Chosen as a fan, Jenkins revealed that the new special includes a performance by Bocelli and his son Matteo, specifically filmed for the occasion. Transitioning to an interview with Vanessa Benevente, who plays Mother Mary, Jenkins inquired about her experience portraying the most famous woman in history and whether she felt any pressure. Benevente shared that while there is some pressure, she also feels a connection to the character as the script portrayed Mary as a real person. She mentioned infusing the role with attributes from her own family, particularly drawing warmth from her grandmother's sister. Benevente also shared insights into a poignant scene with Elizabeth Tabish after Jesus' death. Contrary to her initial expectation of Tabish's character comforting hers, Benevente found herself consoling Tabish's character, resulting in a profoundly emotional experience for her. Highlighting the central theme of the relationship between Mother Mary and Jesus in The Chosen, Benevente emphasized the universality of these scenes, making them relatable to a broader audience. For those eager to watch, the official account of The Chosen revealed in the live stream chat that Christmas with The Chosen O Holy Night will be available on the app in time for Christmas. During the live stream, Jenkins and Benevente provided insights into what fans can anticipate in Season 4 of The Chosen. Benevente shared that Season 4 delves into profound territory, particularly for her character Mary. She emphasized that things are becoming increasingly real for Mary as she senses the approaching end, though the details remain unclear. Describing it as a challenging season to shoot, Benevente acknowledged the emotional intensity that made it difficult.
Jenkins echoed Benevente's sentiments, characterizing season four as both beautiful and painful. He had previously labeled it as our most emotionally challenging season to date, underscoring the depth and complexity that viewers can expect from the upcoming episodes. Jenkins offered a glimpse into what awaits in season five of The Chosen, emphasizing that it gets even more real. Although an official release date is yet to be announced, the current plan is to commence filming for Season 5 in April. Highlighting the global impact of The Chosen, Jenkins expressed gratitude, informing viewers that they have brothers and sisters worldwide who are putting their lives at risk to translate the series in regions that may not be receptive to the show. The acknowledgement underscores the widespread influence and dedicated efforts of individuals working to make the show accessible to diverse audiences around the world. Jenkins shared a touching video featuring Ahmed Dabur, a man who converted to Christianity and relocated from Tunisia to the Middle East. Dabur's son, Zach, approached him after watching The Chosen, expressing admiration for the show's artistic quality. Dabur was particularly struck by how both Christians and non-Christians could discover new perspectives on Jesus through the series. Inspired by his experience, Dabur joined forces with the Come and See Foundation and The Chosen to contribute to the translation efforts. He is now part of a team dedicated to translating the show into various languages. Jenkins commended Dabur for his impactful work, stating that he is enabling people around the world to experience the show. He urged viewers to continue praying for and supporting Dabur in his endeavors. This heartwarming story highlights the transformative power of The Chosen and the collaborative efforts to make it accessible to diverse audiences. Reviewing Season 4 of The Chosen, a potential benchmark for faith-inspired television, Jonathan Rumi seamlessly embodies his role as the series gains momentum in its latest installment. The much-anticipated Season 4 commenced with the release of Episodes 1-3 to three in theaters, with streaming dates yet to be announced. Deseret News, having obtained screeners for the entire season, provides a spoiler-free overview of the initial episodes. In this brief review, it's evident that the first three episodes of Season 4 skillfully establish a tense atmosphere, delving into the exploration of grief and its impact on our priorities. The review hints at a compelling narrative, leaving the reviewer eager to revisit the theaters for another viewing. Now, let's delve into the essential details. The series maintains a TV PG rating, ensuring family-friendly content. Episode 1 involves the death of John the Baptist, presented without graphic detail, but with a tense atmosphere that may be unsuitable for younger viewers. The absence of explicit language and clean content throughout Episodes 1-3 to is emphasized. The Chosen accomplishes a rare feat in portraying religious characters without being preachy or condescending. The season's prevailing mood is tense, exceeding expectations, with a looming sense of foreboding surrounding Jesus. The narrative primarily focuses on the disciples, creating a connection between the audience and their experiences. Despite moments of potential annoyance with the disciples, the introspective elements are seamlessly woven into the storyline without feeling preachy. The discourse on asking and seeking is explored, allowing the audience to reflect on these themes. Grief emerges as a central theme in Season 4, with a particularly poignant portrayal at the end of Episode 3, leaving viewers anticipating the next developments.